if Saudi, Saudi Arabia begins the month of Dhul Hijjah because they claim they have seen the moon, even though nobody in the world cites the moon and scientific evidence tells us that nobody in the world can see the moon, then does this mean that the people performing Hajj will be performing the rituals of Hajj on the wrong day, most likely? Have we fulfilled the conditions of Hajj? If we are aware about this and still perform the Hajj rituals based on Saudi Arabia's sighting and calendar. If we are aware of this information, should we begin and end the rituals of Hajj a day later? I don't know what would be possible uh, if, uh, if one has to split from the Hajj group. So I think you've got a good gist of what the question is here. <clears throat> here is that we're Mukullahs, we're followers. We're not going to be held accountable for any of this really. It's the people who different fuqahas, different ulamas have different opinions. Some are taking a scientific approach, they've decided we're going to take a scientific approach. I'm just simplifying it for you. But I'll, I'll summarize the nutshell in, uh, in the end. But different ulamas, different ulamas of fiqh have given different opinions. Some are unanimous on certain elements, some are unanimous on certain elements uh, aspect. Some are saying, yes, we can do it scientifically. For example, we know scientifically the moon has been uh, born and they can get uh, uh, still images and they can get uh, these uh, CGI images, etc., etc. that they've got image where the moon has just been uh, born there. They can see it, the new moon's there, and then they devise the color according to that. And it can be calculated. And others said, no, no, we have to do it through the traditional process where the hadith says you do it through the naked eye, you can see no, much is complicated. I'm saying is that, like our teacher always says, that follow wherever you are, follow the uh, law, uh, whichever regulation, whichever country you're in, whichever area, in, just follow your local masjid. And if you're in the haram where they're doing the ritual process, follow them uh, and just uh, do, uh, carry out the rituals uh, according to that. You uh, Again, this is about acceptance. This is in the hands of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows best. You carry out the rituals. If everybody is performing it, even if it's the wrong day, right day. Don't worry about that. You just, in the, for the sake of uh, unity and for the sake of trust, is that what you do is that if you're in Saudi and you're there to perform Hajj, follow whatever the local uh, governments have said is that this is the days in which the Hajj is going to fall. You just follow that. Alhamdulillah, your Hajj will be more cool if you provided that you fulfill the conditions of what the Hajj uh, Hajjads are. That's as simple as that. And Eid and fasting, if you go to that process as well, is that again, is that. Uh, you really is that if it's the case that you are following one one mosque is following this and your local mosque is following that again you are more if you're a follower you just follow your mosque whatever the local mosque says alhamdulillah your fasting your thing you will be couple you don't need to worry about it you, this is the, the ulama's i must they'll be held accountable not yourself now the reason why i'm saying this is that you don't need to worry that even then when science uh, is not for surety there are people with allah someone has given such insight and such power that the, the Allah Sunday has given such wisdom knowledge that they can see even more powerful than the telescope is that they know when the moon uh, for example when Ramadan commences how will they know is that if they've been given this special like the likes of Sayyidina Abdul Aziz the Bafra Mullah who is a cyber basirat Allah Sunday gave him special insight where he was able to see and analyze uh, uh, the, uh, whatever Allah wants to see in the heavens. They can see the gates of heavens have been opened and the angels are roaming around, the hoods are actually going around and the, the whole uh, atmosphere and everything is just changing. They're able to see it. Now, no sat satellite is able to capture that picture. So they will know, they even said in Kitab al Ibris, they've even mentioned is that there are times that we can see that people are fasting. It's not time to fast. It's not even a uh, month of fasting yet. It's not even begun. And there are people who are actually Breaking, uh, there are people who are breaking fast when they're not really supposed to break. It's still t a time to fast, and the Eid is not that day. But they followed, even despite that the host of the time there is, or the Qut of the time, they still followed the Sharia and the Imam of the time, whichever the local Imam, they followed that. They did what uh, to the best of their knowledge, inshallah. So, here is that as a Mukallaf, as a person, as a follower, don't worry, don't confuse, don't stress yourself uh, about. Should I do this? Because you, you cannot do it separately. If they said this, this day, you just do it on that day. You have to follow the process, especially in Hajj. You have to do whatever they've asked you to do. You just follow that, the rituals, Alhamdulillah, you be, it will be suffice, it will be sufficient for you. So now what will happen is, that imagine, let's go, uh, uh, the way you're going is that if you, if you say, for example, oh, I will do a separate day, then there'll be chaos because there'll be so many different ikhtilafats there, people of different uh, opinions. 
then there'll be chaos. That's it. The whole thing will be chaos. One day a person will be stoning, another day some, some people doing tawaf, another day some people doing other rituals and doing qurbani. It'll be all chaotic. So all it is is that wherever you are, whichever land you are, whether in the east or the west or the north or the south, the middle, wherever you are, just follow the uh, local land, a local area, follow the timings, follow the uh, actually what I've said. Alhamdulillah, that is fine. Lo follow your local setting. Our, uh, the opinion that our beloved teacher, they say that this is what they say that wherever you are locally, follow that. Inshallah, says, and uh, if they if they if they are different, doesn't matter. Just follow it. Inshallah, that's where you could be safeguarded from actually, uh, from fitna and other uh, unfortunate things that, ha that is happening. <laughs>